That's very interesting. So, um, Judaism. Mm -hmm. Can you um, break down and explain to me the start of it, the understanding of the start of Judaism? Uh, Judaism as a religion refers, many times they say it refers to the Torah. However, when it comes to Europeans, Caucasians, when they discuss Judaism, they are primarily discussing the Talmud. And meaning they discuss, they, they reference the Talmud, which is a book of oral traditions. Uh, Moshe mentioned the Talmud maybe once or twice during the interview, but he didn't get too much into it. When you read the Talmud, and like if you Google it, they have traditions, traditional statements where they even allow um, men to deal with younger, underage girls under the age of nine. That's in their Talmud. Um, and there's a lot of evil things in that book. But that's what their education is based upon, the Talmud. It's not the Torah laws, because they don't keep the Torah laws. They say they do, but they don't. I'll give an example. One of the Torah laws is, uh, Torah means law. Mm -hmm. It's Hebrew for law. So it's the first five books of Moses. The uh, ninth commandment, thou shalt not bear false witness against your neighbor. Mm -hmm. They bear false witness every day. When they say that we're not the people of the book, that's bearing false witness. Mm -hmm. When they say, or you ask them about uh, Christ, what, what do you feel about Christ? Mm -hmm. I remember something like that. Mm -hmm. You asked them, you said, what do you say about Jesus? What is, and he said, we don't believe in him. In the Talmud, mm -hmm. it talks about it. And it says Jesus is boiling in hell in his own excrement, meaning S-H-I-T. That's what Ta Talmud says. It says Boy, just Google it, Google it. Talmud, where's Jesus at? What does Talmud say about Jesus? <laughs> I was told that. Yes. Yes, I was told that. I, I mean, had to read for myself. Said, oh, yeah. These people, I'm telling you, and the reason they reject the New Testament is because of the description of Jesus Christ is very plain. Revelation mm -hmm. 1, 14 and 15 describes him as a black man. Number two, the things he says about those that claim to be Jews. And get that, Revelation 3, 9. Yes, Watch sir. what Jesus says. The book of Revelation, what was that, 2, 9? 3, 3, 9. Yes, sir. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. And the reason I like that verse is because it's a prophecy. It has not happened yet. The one in chapter 2 and verse 9, people argue and say, oh, that happened already. It's okay. Well, chapter 3 and verse 9 didn't occur yet at all. Historic. You won't find that in history. So Christ is saying that's what he's going to do to them. This is why they reject the New Testament. This is why they reject all notions of Christ. They hate that thing. Even Jews for Jesus. They'll put a white guy up, Jews for Jesus, believe in a mm. European Jesus, and they'll say, oh, no, 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 no. They'll never read that. You <laughs> <laughs> know, I met them too. Yeah. Um, I asked him about the Jews for Jesus. He almost tried to deny them, actually, though, too. He, you know, said yes, that, you know, there was, you know, so, a few profound things he said. So, um, is there a difference between a Jew and a Hebrew Israelite? Uh, we're the real Jews. Mm -hmm. We are the Jews. Uh, let me show you. Let me, give, uh, Roman, let me show you about the Apostle Paul. Mm -hmm. Romans, uh, let me hear chapter 10. Or well, chapter 11, I'm sorry. Romans 11, where Paul describes, talks about himself. 11 and 11. The book of Romans, chapter 11 and verse 1. I say then, have God cast away his people? God forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. So Paul was an Israelite, right? Of the tribe of Benjamin. Now when you go to Acts 21, watch this, verse 37. Watch what he says. Acts 21. Is it 21, 37? Yes. Okay, watch this. The book of Acts, chapter 21 and verse 37. And as Paul was to be led into the castle, he said unto the chief captain, May I speak unto thee? Who said, Canst thou speak Greek? So the chief captain says to Paul, Can you speak Greek? Paul was very well educated. Mm -hmm. Art not thou that Egyptian? See what he thought Paul was? Egyptian. The ancient Egyptians were black. Blackity black, black, black. So he thought Paul was an Egyptian. Read that again. Art not thou that Egyptian? 
which before these days made us an uproar and led us out into the wilderness. 4,000 men that were murderers. But Paul said, I am a man which am a Jew. Paul said, I'm a Jew. So it's telling you two things. Paul was a Jew mm -hmm. and he was black. It's telling you right there. Yeah. That's Acts, that's Acts 21, 37? 37 through 39. Yeah, definitely. So it's, he's telling you he's a Jew. So in the Bible, the Jews are black, the Israelites are black. But today, in this modern society, what they've done is say, oh, no, no, Jews are Jewish people and they're European. You guys, you Hebrew Israelites, and they always put the word black. They'll say, you're a black Hebrew Israelites. They're trying to say we're not the real deal of the book. Mm -hmm. Like during the time of the 60s, during the time of Malcolm X. They didn't call them Muslims. They called them black Muslims. Mm -hmm. Trying to say, oh, you, you guys are not the real Muslims. You're fake ones, so you're the black ones. That's, the white man always does that. He always does that. And he's Esau, by the way. Esau, Edom. That's what they are. That's what, that, they, are. That's what they are. Yes. All Europeans are Edomites. They descend from Esau. Jacob's brother. Yes. Jacob's brother. The people that God hates. <laughs>